Acral and mucosal melanoma are well understood to be difficult subtypes to treat. We extrapolate their treatments from cutaneous. And, and to be clear, acral technically is a subtype of cutaneous. It just doesn't behave the same way. It's also genomically different. And mucosal melanoma, we extrapolate its treatments from cutaneous, but we know that those patients don't do nearly as well with dual checkpoint blockade. The way patients are currently treated, the current paradigm is to treat them the way that we do cutaneous, but we know they're just not going to do as well. And when they progress, our options are really limited. Usually when patients progress, they've already seen epinevo. I didn't show this uh, data here, but the acral and the mucosal patients in this trial, the 14 of them, almost all had progressed on prior epinevo, which very much mirrors what we see in the real world. We who treat this disease know that that's probably our best bet up front. Other options that are very reasonable that are utilized are different kinds of dual checkpoint blockade, including relaclimab, nivolumab. Um, although that does better in the frontline setting than it does in the second line setting. So in other words, once a patient has progressed on epinevo, we don't have great options. If they have very limited disease, injectable disease, um, which would be unusual in this clinical scenario, in the standard of care setting, you might consider TVEC. We would not take that approach typically in a patient with visceral uh, metastases or a high disease burden. Also, in the standard of care setting, we would think about lifelucil, which is a newly approved um, tumor infiltrating lymphocyte therapy. And you would absolutely think about clinical trials. I will say regarding lifelucil, we did see data that the ORR seems to be quite favorable in mucosal melanoma. Having said that, not all patients are appropriate for such a such an involved and complex and potentially toxic modality. So it's a huge area of unmet need. And there are currently trials um, evaluating novel treatment modalities for mucosal and or acral melanoma, including the so-called next generation of IL-2 therapies. Um, there's the artistry trial, which has been enrolling, and I believe it has a mucosal arm. There are different next generation cell therapy trials that are enrolling third generation checkpoints, novel targeted therapies, et cetera. But really uh, a lot of work needs to be done in that space.